What's up YouTube? Back here with another video today. We're back here with the lightning with the results of the front end restoration that we did. All the changes we made to the front end. It's all done and we're going to show you the finished results. We're also going to give you guys a cold start. First startup for you guys. I've already been running it a little bit. We've been tuning back and forth with Eric Korn, getting the drivability and the idle down, doing a bunch of revisions and making some tweaks and we'll get into that in a little bit. But first, let's go ahead and take a look at the front end and the results of our bumper gap mod, the paint, and all the changes we made. All right, guys, so this is how the front end came out. Very pleased with everything. I mean, it is, to me, it is perfect. I love it. The gap came out nice. There's not a whole lot of gap left. I mean, there's still a little bit there, but I didn't want to eliminate it altogether. I think it looks weird when there's absolutely no gap. I think that's the perfect amount. I mean, look, that looks so much better. That is night and day compared to what it used to be. Those of you that know my truck also knew I was famous for the Hello Kitty front bumper. It was pink and oxidized, looked like complete crap. I'll post a picture on there for the before. But this is the after, and it looks a lot better. I mean, man, that came out really nice. I'm happy. It's not perfect. There is some divots in the clear coat and whatnot. But a buddy of mine did it in his backyard for super cheap, so I can't complain. Everything came out really nice though. Got a new front grill surround. I'm not too happy with it because of the fitment. Has some weird gaps here. Huge gaps where the headlights were. I had to fill it with like basically rubber trim so it didn't look funky. But besides that, everything else came out pretty nice. We painted this, uh, we painted the grill. Our usual gunmetal with flake, that came out really nice. Of course the camera probably does it no justice but overall the front end really came together nicely and it really makes it look like a whole different truck I'm really happy with it of course the fresh paint on the surround and the bumper did make the hood look super pink kind of you can definitely tell the difference in color but I do have a solution for that and that's coming soon I'm not gonna tell you guys I'm gonna wait till it gets here and I'm gonna show you but that's coming soon but overall, super happy with the front of the truck. It looks much better. Night and day difference. It looks really nice. We need to get this thing out of the garage and give it a bath. It is a little dirty. But I didn't really want to clean it while we were doing all the stuff to it and working on it. There's really no point. But go ahead and pop the hood for you guys. Show you the results of all that. Everything is together. And like I said, I've been running it doing some back and forth tune revisions and data logging with Eric Korn. And he's really getting this thing dialed in absolutely perfect. Super happy with Eric Korn, guys. If you have any hesitations, do not hesitate. The man will make your truck perfect. He is taking the time and tweaking every little thing. We had to adjust the screw on our throttle body blade and we got that reading dead nuts in the middle. A throttle positioning reading dead nuts where it should be I mean he is really taking time and fully instructing me on how to make this thing perfect all kinds of revisions and I mean he is really dialing this thing in like I said so far we've just been doing a lot of idling and cruising logs haven't really got to the wide open throttle stuff yet but we will soon but everything came together really nice as you can see, I still want to do something with this hose here and get some more tech flex of various sizes and just tech flex everything, but 
overall engine bay looks really good and I'm pretty happy with everything so we're gonna go ahead and fire up the laptop grab that hook it up in here to the tuner and get this latest revision on the truck fire this bad boy up for you guys first startup for you guys like I said I've already heard it but this would be the first time you guys get to hear it since all the stuff we've done to it so super excited let's get this bad boy fired up get this tune on there open up the data logger should fire up like I said Eric Korn has been super detailed with the tuning I mean he has already helped us fix a couple issues with the truck itself not necessarily issues the truck probably would have ran fine but just getting it more to the mean of where it should be putting it right in the middle that way computer has max adjustability for any situation which makes sense you want it right in the middle that way no matter what condition you run across or conditions you're driving in the computer can adjust accordingly and be fine so he's been working on working with me on getting that all tweaked and perfect making revisions along the way like I said so far we're on revision 5 and all we've done is idle and drive and park and do cruising logs at various RPMs to see how everything is tweaked in and he's still making adjustments no wide open stuff yet, but he said we're getting really close. The tune's really close to where he wants it to be. The dude is a perfectionist. I love it. As a machinist, I can really appreciate that level of detail. And that's exactly what I want. I want it to be perfect. So, super happy so far, guys. Words do no justice. Really, really good guy. Highly recommended. But as soon as this tune's in there, we are going to fire this beast up. There we go. I'm not sure how much you guys can even hear me over this, but man, is she purring. Sounds so good. Super loud. I forgot how loud and throaty this thing sounded, but not sure how much you can hear me. Hopefully this comes out all right. But like I said, he's got this thing purring good. Everything came out nice. No vacuum leaks. Everything's running really good. For fluid, we're just running water with a splash of coolant and water wetter. We are going to be switching to this Mishimoto liquid chill 
only because it's orange and because the water water mixed with the coolant kind of made like a poopy brown color but oh well firm pretty good sit inside show you guys what's going on sounds pretty good in here as well right now we got a live link open and we're going to do some data logging we have to do a minute and a half in park while idling and then a minute and a half while in drive idling so he can dial that in and then we got to go do some cruising various rpms basically hold it there for 10 15 seconds let the air stabilize so you can kind of see what the air to fuel is doing at you know each rpm but so far so good guys sounds really really good can't wait till we can get into the wide open stuff but i really appreciate his attention to detail and actually don't mind i don't care how many revisions or how long it takes he's dialing this sucker in and that's all that matters it's going to be perfect We already data logged the idle. You guys saw it idle already. Now we got our foot on the brake. We put it in drive. And we're gonna data log that for a minute and a half each, and then we'll go out for our cruise and get some various RPMs. But so far so good. Everything sounds real nice and healthy. Maintaining the steady AFR. Everything looks good on the log. Our idle air integrators that we had to adjust before and now it's pretty much perfect as well as our throttle position absolute and all that stuff but a minute and a half of this we already did the park and we go for a little cruise getting this sucker dialed in though guys super happy just in case you guys couldn't hear me earlier basically we're going to be replacing our intercooler fluid with some distilled water in this liquid chill by Mishimoto and it's basically the same thing as water water. You just add it in there and it's a coolant additive that reduces your temperatures. Works better with water but also works with coolant. But basically we're going with this instead of water water only because it's orange. And I want my fluids to kind of match the blower along with some other orange accents we're going to do. But I figured we'd give this stuff a shot. It is orange so we're going to do distilled water and then two bottles of the liquid chill. I think you're supposed to do... I forget the formula. I found it earlier and you're supposed to do two when I calculated the capacity of the intercooler and that stuff there. So doing two bottles of that, I went ahead and picked up a magnetic drain plug as well. So next time I do the oil, I'll throw that in there just to see if we pick up anything on the magnet. I kind of doubt it, but so that's that. We also pulled the front sway bar, which was about, if I had to guess, I'd say 30 pounds at least, probably 20, 30 pounds. It wasn't even hooked up, honestly. I found out when I went to go pull myself underneath the truck, I went to use it for leverage to pull, and the whole thing just moved back and forth, so it wasn't even hooked up at all on the end links. So, figured if it's not hooked up, may as well go ahead and pull it. I obviously haven't noticed a difference with it from when it wasn't hooked up, so. And I've already driven without it, and it seems perfectly fine. Turns just about the same. I don't notice any kind of difference, so. 30 pounds gone should help. A little bit of weight reduction never hurts but yeah so that's gonna be it for this video hopefully you guys liked it if you did make sure you drop a thumbs up on it of course and if you haven't already subscribe to the channel for more because there's much more to come um, I'm super happy with the progress and how everything came out hopefully you guys like it too but uh, yeah so far so good guys getting it getting it dialed in nice and perfect and soon we'll be making some hits and some wide open throttle pulls and getting that tuned in. And then hopefully we can hit the track and do some racing. And who knows who we'll pull up next to on the street. Has a lot of fun. But anyways, that's going to be it, guys. Make sure you stay tuned in for more by subscribing to the channel if you haven't. Hit the bell. All that good stuff. We'll see you next time.